Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Um, my name is Chelsea, and today I went for a run, just got back, so I'm all sweaty. And while I was on my run, I was thinking I should film today a vlog, just like a day in the life kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I'll just take you about my day. I'm actually working from home today, so that's why I can easily film. So yeah, it's a nice gloomy Thursday, and um, let's see what today has in store for us. I need to run errands at some point today, and I was thinking maybe I should do that this morning when traffic's not as busy and stuff. So I think instead of diving into work right now, I will hurry and shower and go run my errands. Um, I will go kind of late today because if you aren't familiar with my channel, I am 12 weeks pregnant. I'll be 13 weeks tomorrow. Um, but I was I going to say pregnancy brain. It's a real thing, you guys. Oh my gosh, what was I going to say? Oh, so I take Unisom at night and it makes me so dang tired. And so I'll take it, go to bed at like 10, and then I'll, I can seriously sleep till whenever. So last night I forgot, I didn't like plug my phone into the charger all the way. And so I woke up this morning, my phone was completely dead. So I didn't have any alarm. My plan was to wake up early, but because I take Unisom, it's just so hard sometimes. So um, I woke up at eight o'clock naturally. Well, Poe was whining my dog. He was whining for me to take him out. So I woke up at eight. I started um, right into work because I had to follow up on some emails and get some things going right away today. So, worked for a couple hours, ate breakfast, my usual plain cornflakes. I'm so fun and healthy. And then I went for a run, so now we're here. So, let's shower and get this day going. And just like that, I am ready for the day. So, we don't have a ton of food in our house because I feel like I've been getting food as I crave it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try and stock up on some fruits and veggies that I've been craving, so I will eat them. Um, and then just a few things that will help us have more dinners at home um, Because I've been eating out a lot. It's been so bad you guys. I'm really hopeful that as I hit my 13th week and come out of the first trimester that I will start feeling better, but I've been feeling pretty crappy this week So who knows anyway, so I'm gonna hit up Trader Joe's, but first I'm gonna go to my local um, like yoga studio that carries Lululemon and if you've watched my pregnancy updates um, my last one I mentioned that I am interested in trying the Align legging from Lululemon because so many people have said that they are their favorites for maternity so I'm gonna go check there and see if they have um, my size or if they even carry that because or those leggings because I have a 20% off coupon to that shop and it expires at the end of this month so I'm gonna check that out Hit up Target, I think, before Trader Joe's. Then Trader Joe's, grab all my groceries that I need. Um, I've made a list, so we should be good. I've got a snack, I've got my water. I may have to stop and get lunch while we're out, um, but should be a successful trip, ho hopefully, <laughs> of Aaron running, so let's do this. A few moments later. Okay, you guys, I felt like this was meant to be because they had one pair left in my size of the Align legging in black. So I got them and I'm gonna call this probably my Christmas present for now because they're so expensive. Even though I did have a 20% off like coupon to this shop, like I said. So they ended up only being $80 instead of a hundred. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. They fit like butter. And the thing is I can totally wear these after like po postpartum, I guess is what you want to call it. Um, so I'm super excited. They feel so amazing. And I can tell, like I was like pushing my stomach out as much as I could. And like the stretch and the give in the waist is unlike any other pair of legging I've ever tried. There's no like leggings I'm wearing right now are cutting like off my circulation. Not really, but they're definitely making a little indent in my stomach. So, and these would not do that. So I am stoked that I didn't have to go all the way up to Salt Lake because the closest Lululemon store to me is like 30 minutes away. Plus I got a discount. Plus I got to support 
my local yoga shop that I love and I used to teach at and anyway so I'm stoked about that not sure Eric's gonna be as stoked about it um, but maybe if it's for Christmas it's not a big deal right honey all right just got back to my car from Target which every time I go to Target I I leave and I cannot find my car like I just wander the parking lot I always forget where I parked anyway um, random sorry okay so I'll show you what I got um, it's nothing crazy uh, I'm really proud of myself because I stuck to my list and that rarely happens at Target so this is a big accomplishment I literally got every single thing that was on my list and nothing else so okay I got this um, Fairs witch hazel um, I got the rose petal one because rose is really good for like as a toner so I also like the pixie toner that one is so good um, I'd say that's probably the best toner out there that I've tried but this is less expensive and I like to switch up my skincare so when I'm not using the pixie one I use the witch hazel one I've tried the lavender one I really like that but I'm excited to try the rose petal one um, I got some dish soap some honey crisp apple scent which is great for the fall I got some wax yes I love this wax I use it to wax my armpits and my arms so yeah maybe that's TMI I don't know but I would prefer to wax my armpits and my arms than to shave or whatever I don't like hair so I try to get it off um I also use it on my bikini line but that is definitely too too much information um okay and then I got a loofah because we are in need of one and I got some shoelaces because my adidas superstars their shoelaces they always get dirty and I wash them and they still look gross so I got some new ones um because I cleaned those shoes recently and I like them to have nice white shoelaces when I clean them those are like two bucks so um, and then I got this clear mascara because this is the best for setting your eyebrows and um, I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and that's great too um, but that's $20 and this is like five bucks or something not even that like two bucks I don't know um, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills one I don't like the the bristles are I don't think they're as good as like these the Maybelline one is they're smaller bristles that's what I'm trying to say so I like them better um so yeah that's pretty much it and yeah I'm pretty proud of myself for sticking to my list for Target yay me I'm kind of hungry I've been eating this bar over here this good to go bar g2g bar it's the peanut butter chocolate Co coconut chocolate flavor anyway um fun fact i worked at the i don't know if you guys have ever seen these bars but i worked at the a, a health food store they managed it for five years and worked there for five years but um so i worked there for like eight years or something i managed it for five years i worked there previously before i started managing it for like three or four years anyway so when i was working there we um one of our customers started this bar brand and we were the first store to carry it and now they're all over they're like in Costco and Whole Foods and I think they're even at Target now too but I just brought this from home so I've been eating this and it's been holding me over from not, like not getting hangry but um I'm kind of hungry I should probably eat before hitting up Trader Joe's because I don't want to buy the whole store and a bunch of things that I don't need I would like to stick to my list at Trader Joe's as well so we're gonna go somewhere I don't know where um, to eat. There's a ton of places over at Trader Joe's, so we'll check something out over there. I'm not sure what I'm feeling, but we'll find something good. All right, you guys, you're never going to guess where I am. I'm in the line, the drive through line <clears throat> at In-N-Out. I wanted to eat somewhere healthy, but seriously, the more I thought about like a salad or like I even thought of Rumbies, like rice bowls I just I couldn't it made me start it made me feel queasy so the thing that sounded good was a cheeseburger so I'm getting a cheeseburger no lettuce because lettuce makes me 
gag sometimes. Um, and yeah, that's it, just a cheeseburger. Um, but I did, before I came here, I actually stopped at Ross because Ross um, is where my sister-in-law got the maternity jeans that I really love. Um, so it's one of those places you gotta just like go in with an open mind and not expect much. So I found a bunch of things and tried them on, but they didn't like feel comfortable or fit well. Um, that's why my hair is um, out of the braid because it was just a mess in the dressing room. Anyway, so I did find one sweater. Um, when I come to a stop here, I'll show you guys. Um, it's like a sweater I can wear with like leggings. It'll cover my bum and I can wear just like a white shirt under it or something. And it'll kind of be, I don't know. This is like what I picture my maternity uniform looking like. Um, so I don't know if you can really tell it's open. It's like a cardigan, you know, and it has this little print. It's really cute, really cozy. It felt nice on, um, but it's nothing like, like way special. It's just, um, a cozy sweater for the winter. So it'll be nice to wear with leggings. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all I really got at Ross. Cause that was like less than 20 bucks. Um, Ross has some seriously cheap clothes. I hate saying cheap. Yeah, I'm sure they're kind of cheap, some of them, but this sweater feels like good quality. I should say inexpensive clothes. Anyway, so I'm going to eat my cheeseburger and get my booty over to Trader Joe's so I can get my groceries and go home and get back to work. Oh, and I don't talk about work a ton on here, but um, for those of you who are new or who don't know, I work actually 30 minutes from where I live. Um, the office is 30 minutes from where I live, but um, I can work from home a couple times a week, kind of as needed. Um, it's through a canyon, so in the winter I like to work from home more often because it gets really snowy in the canyon, and I hate driving through it, through the uh, snow like in the canyon. It's really bad. But anyway, so I'll work from home like once or twice a week um, if I don't have meetings or something. Um, there are a bunch of meetings going on this weekend, so not this weekend, but all week. That's actually where Eric is. He's part of the same company as me. He just works for a different brand business in the company. Um, so he is actually out of town at these um, marketing meetings. We both work in marketing. Um, I handle the marketing and not all the marketing, but I work in the marketing for like the consumer goods products of Assault Company. Company. Um, I run their social media accounts. I run their influencer program. And yeah, it's good times. I really like my job. I like how flexible it is. Um, you know, just as long as you're getting your work done, then, you know, and you're contributing to the team and to the bottom line, I guess, then, you know, they don't really like micromanage you or whatever, like check in, see what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just, um, I mainly just work at the office because I need to collaborate with people and be around other people, but I really could do all my work from home mostly. So like my actual work can just be done from a computer. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I do for work. If you guys have any questions, I'm always happy to answer. Any questions you guys have about my life? I'm even thinking of doing a Q&A. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will add them to my Q&A that I'm gonna do shortly. If you have any questions for Eric too, maybe I'll do it with him. So, okay, I'm driving up to get my cheeseburger. The aftermath of my cheeseburger. I ate that so fast. just getting out so things are starting to get busy and crazy out there and traffic where I live right now is just bonkers because there's a lot of construction so I'm just glad to be home I'm like an 80 year old man and I don't like crowds okay I'm learning this about myself but um, I'm gonna show you what I got from Trader Joe's so quickly because I need to put this in the fridge and freezer but okay the first thing I got was this mandarin um, orange chicken I don't think this is that much healthier than Panda Express but maybe 
it is, but it is, I know, less expensive than getting it from Canada Express. Um, I first heard Liza Adele mention these on her YouTube channel. This, I should say, not these. And it looked really good. She raved about it. So I'm going to try that for the first time. Got some roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. But that would be like a good, easy side dish. I need to put those in the freezer. Um, I got a vegetable medley. Um, this looked just really good. It says it's seasoned in butter sauce, so it has to be good, right? I thought that might be good with the orange chicken. Um, I got this spinach, kale, and yogurt dip. I've been craving um, spinach artichoke dip, so I'm hoping this is kind of got that flavor. Um, I'm going to make um, lasagna on Sunday, I think, maybe. I don't know. I Lasagna is like the one thing I make that's like actually good that I'm really confident in. And um, so I might make that this Sunday or sometime soon. So, um, so I got all this stuff to make lasagna. So cottage cheese, Parmesan cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Um, I also got some ground beef somewhere in here. But I have to go to another store to get gluten-free lasagna noodles. I am not gluten-free. I just really like the lasagna I make to have gluten-free noodles because they just taste better to me. I know that's weird, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, I got some Greek yogurt and some spicy hummus dip. And I got some jerky sticks for a snack. I got some orange juice. Orange. I say that weird, I know. But orange juice. Um, some organic orange juice, actually. Because I feel like maybe that will be better for me. Um, I got this cultured coconut milk yogurt. I have never tried this, so I just got one. I love blueberry yogurt. But I wanted to try some dairy-free yogurt. Not because I'm dairy-free but because I like dairy-free yogurts, I think they taste really good. Um, I got this kale broccoli salad. This is really good. Um, I'm gonna maybe try and eat this for dinner tonight with some mac and cheese I'm making, some homemade mac and cheese. Um, got some carrot sticks to go with the hummus, and I like these kind because they're rainbow colored. They make, it makes them taste better. Um, I got some Fuji apples, organic, because apples should be organic, guys. They put, like, if you're going to be eating, like, the skin like that, I feel like they should be, you should get organic. I don't know. I'm not telling you what to do, but things that I'm, like, just eating the skins, I get nervous. So, like, apples and carrots and stuff like that. Crap, I forgot bananas. Ugh. just realized that. Anyway, so I got some Fuji apples, because Fuji apples are the best. I got turkey, cranberry salad. Turkey cranberry apple salad. I've never tried this before, but it looks like something that would be super easy for me to take to um, work. I just realized the expiration date is in a few days, but it's okay. I'll take it to work tomorrow and eat half of it for work tomorrow. Um, I got some cilantro because I'm thinking we'll make some fish tacos. Um, or beef tacos, whatever. We'll make some tacos and he loves cilantro. Um, I got these plantain chips. These are so good, you guys. Like, I just usually dip them in salsa, but they're good in hummus. They're good in everything. Uh, gosh, my nose is so itchy. Oh, my lemon. So I got a lemon, some limes. Eric's obsessed with limes. Ooh, avocado. And a guy gave me a sample of the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. They're really good. I've had them before. We buy them. I buy them. If Eric's with me, we end up buying them. But they, I had one of them, and it kind of like made me sick. It kind of gave me a sour stomach. But So I got some kombucha because I was like, kind of hurt my stomach. But um, I got the ginger ale kombucha because it's the best. GT ginger ale kombucha. It's the best, you guys. If you like ginger. Um, I got chocolate hazelnut cookies for Eric because they were out of the short bread, short bread cookie butter cookies. They were out of those. So I got chocolate hazelnut cookies and maybe he'll like those because he loves hazelnut. 
Um, I, fun fact, I do not like hazelnut, so I'm not going to like these, I know. I don't like Nutella. I know. Sue me. But Nutella is gross. Okay? I said it. I don't like it. Um, okay, then I got these fig bars. So I love fig bars. I got black bean corn enchiladas for work. You know, just pack that, take it to work. I got Poe some treats. Um, we usually buy his treats at Costco, but we're completely out and... I don't know, this will hold us over until we can go to Costco, probably on Saturday when Eric gets back. I got these chili lime, lime chicken burgers. These are super popular. A lot of people talk about these because they're very good. I just figured I can take those to work. And then I got some triple ginger cookie thins. I was babysitting my cousin's little boy. He's a newborn. And I was just calling my nephew because we're like sisters. Um, so I was babysitting him last week and she had these and I was like so hungry. I started like digging into them and they really helped settle my stomach. So I got those. Um, I got these hash browns, which were $1.30 or $1.99 or something. And they look like McDonald's hash browns, which has been a craving of mine this pregnancy. So I'm thinking this is a much better deal than going to McDonald's and buying their hash browns. Um, I'm not sure if they're healthier. I really didn't check about health and stuff this time, guys kind of told you what's up with that. So anyway, hashtag I'm pregnant and I can do what I want. Um, I got some organic ground beef, put it in this bag because I'm worried about it leaking. But anyway, organic ground beef for tacos or for lasagna. And last, I got some organic jasmine rice. So I thought this would be nice to have for like a super quick rice that I can have with whether it's orange chicken or the veggies or whatever. Um, sometimes I like to eat just rice plain. It is like totally a good carb, like starchy thing that helps with my morning sickness slash night sickness. Cause that's when I usually get sick. So anyway, that is it for this Trader Joe's haul. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty proud of myself for making this butternut squash mac and cheese. I've got my butternut squash in here with some butter, melting that down, mashing that up, and then I've got my noodles over here cooking. I'm going to add some Mexican cheese and put it in a pan and bake it. I got this recipe from Tiffany Beeston, her channel. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link her channel below. I'll link the video where she made this recipe so you guys can go and watch it. It looks really good. I haven't tried it yet, so I'll let you know how it is. Okay, so that is in the oven now. It takes about 30 minutes to bake. And I think I may have done not enough noodles, but this is the reason why Eric is the cook in this house. But I think it'll still be good. It smelled really good, looked good. Um, but while that's baking for like 30 minutes, I'm gonna fill out my ballot because I did an like at home ballot this year. So I'm gonna vote, guys. I'm gonna do my research and figure out who I'm supposed to vote for. So, catch you later. Mmm, so good. Um, definitely needs more salt, but what doesn't need more real salt? That's my shameless plug. That's the salt that I um, work for. I work for that salt shaker. Um, it's good. Like, <clears throat> it definitely tastes like butternut squash, but I don't know. It's like comfort food, and I feel like it's going to make me feel good and not sick. So, it's good. I'd say I'd make this again. Hey, I thought I said sit down. He's like, I will go potty as many times as I can so I can get one of those new Trader Joe's treats. 
Okay, so I have been a little overwhelmed with all the stuff I need to get for our baby. Um, we have a ton of clothes. We're good on clothes. I think I've mentioned that a million times. But I just wanted a place that had like a list of like a checklist that I could go through and perfectly outline everything I needed for this baby. So I decided to start registering um, at Amazon and Target. When I went to Target, they have a checklist, like a baby registry checklist. And it has been so nice, you guys. Like, so here it is. I just go here and like there's actual checklist. I'm having a lot of fun like creating this registry on Target right now and I'm still adding stuff to Amazon too because some people prefer to shop on Amazon. I prefer to shop on Amazon for certain things. And some things like I really want a dock -a -tot. Um but the ones they have on Amazon, I like them, but the pattern that I want is only at Target. And they're the same price, whether it's on Amazon or Target. And we have a Target card, so we can get two-day shipping from Target. So it makes no difference for us. But anyway, I'm just really excited. It's so fun filling out a registry. I mean, yeah, it's, it's fun. I'm having a really good time. So anyway, I'm going to close out the vlog because... I'm ready for bed. I'm gonna go to bed here soon. It's 8 p.m. I usually go to bed, like get in bed around 9 um, or 9.30 and fall asleep by 10 or 10.30. Um, I think I might edit this vlog tonight and put it up tomorrow uh, if I have some time here after I get done with this baby registry. So anyway, I um, did eat some salad, so I was feeling pretty good about that. So because I gotta have balance, I'm gonna eat some Ben and Jerry's that my sister brought me. Um, so, you know, to balance that out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hit up this Ben and Jerry's and my registry. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.